Hello guys. So here in this session, we are going to start the Python series, right? So first of all, we need to understand the basic knowledge about Python, overview of Python and the syllabus of Python, right? So we need to understand what is Python and all. So let's start. So first of all, I'm going to I am going to uh, we are going to learn this overview of Python in DevOps. Okay, so we need to understand the overview of Python in DevOps first, and then one by one. Okay, so let's start. So in this session, we are going to learn overview of Python in DevOps. So first of all, here here in this uh, session, we are going to learn briefly describe the DevOps culture and its goal, emphasizing automation, collaboration between dev development and operation teams and continuous integration or we can say delivery. Okay, so Python in DevOps. So we are, we are going to use this Python in DevOps and why? So here highlight why Python has become go-to scripting language for DevOps engineers okay so its simplicity flexibility and vast ecosystem of libraries make it deal for devops automation and integrations okay so after that so four pillars of any programming language okay in any programming language there is a four pillars which pillars keywords data types operations and logic reasoning skills okay so there is a four pillars in any programming language okay so here the next is we need to understand the advantages of python in devops so let's start so here key advantage of python in devops so first of all here ease of use okay so here python's readable syntax and ease of learning make it accessible for both beginners and experienced devops engineers then cross platform compatibility so python scripts run on multiple operating system including linux windows and mac operating system ensuring consistency across environments then rich library ecosystem so python has extensible uh, libraries for interacting with APIs, automating infrastructure, and working with data, making it suitable for various DevOps use case, right? Then the next advantage is community and support. So Python's strong community support ensure fast problem solving and access to many resources and tools. So that's the some advantages of Python in DevOps. There is so many advantages of Python in DevOps, but the, these advantages is important. So that's the advantage of Python in DevOps. Okay, then next is here, core use of use case of Python in DevOps. Okay, so let's understand the which core use case of Python's, yeah, Python in DevOps. So first is automation of CI CD pipelines, automating development, deployment, testing, and version control using tools like Jenkins, GitLab CI, or Circle CI with Python scripts. Then infrastructure as code that we can say IAC. Okay, infrastructure as code. So it provisioning and managing cloud resources and infrastructure use Python with tools like Terraform and AWS Boto3 SDK. Then configuration management, managing configuration across different environments using Python to ensure uniformity and in the de development pipelines. Okay. Then system monitoring and alert creating monitoring script for logging, alerting, and integrating with platform like Neos, Prometheus, or Grafana. Then log management and analysis, parsing and analysis log with Python for real-time monitoring and error tracking. Then API integration utilizing Python for interacting with external services via REST APIs like integrating with cloud providers that AWS, Azure, or monitoring services like Datadog and Splunk. Then cloud automation using Python script to automate tasks in AWS, Google Cloud, as well as 
Azure, like resource provisioning, scaling, and managing deployments. Then after that, the next and last use case, use case of Python is container management and orchestration. Okay, automating the management of Docker containers and Kubernetes cluster through Python script and API integrations. So that is the some important core use cases of Python in DevOps. Okay, and then the next is here, tools and libraries for Python in DevOps. So first of all, your tools and libraries for Python in DevOps, Boto3. So the Boto3 automates AWS services for tasks like creating EC2 instance, S3 bucket, or managing RDS database. Then Ansible. So Python-based tool that automates configuration management, software development, deployment, and orchestration. Then request. So simplifies interacting with APIs useful for DevOps tasks like monitoring or cloud service management. Okay. Then last is Kubernetes Python client. So it automates management of Kubernetes cluster through API interactions. Okay. So that's the tools and libraries for Python and DevOps. Okay. Then the next is best practices for using Python in DevOps. So let's understand which best practices for using Python in DevOps. So first is modularity. So write modular Python code that can be used across multiple scripts or project. Then error handling. So implement proper error handling to ensure script can gracefully recover from failure or report meaningful issues. Then version control. So use Git to manage and version Python script ensuring transparency and tracking of changes in automation scripts. Then logging and monitoring. So implement logging with Python script to keep track of scrap performance and error during execution. And then last, security consideration. So ensure Python script handling sensitive data, for example, credential or tokens, follow security best practices like encryption and secure storage. Okay, so that's the best practices for, Python, for using Python in DevOps. Okay, so it's done. Now here I have mentioned sample Python script. So we need to save the python file with the extension .py. Okay, for example, if your file name is test and the extension is .py, so, that, so your file name will be test.py. Okay, that's the python file with .py extension. Okay, so if you print, if you want to print hello world, so if I print this word, then python test, the output will be hello world. Okay, so that's the sample Python script that here I have mentioned how to save your Python file with the extension .py. Okay, so on. Okay, so that's the overview of Python in DevOps. Okay, simple. So in this session, first of all, we have overview this DevOps, then Python in DevOps, the four pillars and the four pillars of uh, any programming language, right? Like keywords, data types, operations, and logic reasoning skills, then key advantage of Python in DevOps, then core use case of Python in DevOps, and tools and libraries, best practices for using Python, and the sample Python script. Okay, so that we have learned in this session. So it's done, it's done. So in this session, we have learned the overview of Python in DevOps. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.